Salutations and welcome to the farm. Well, I wanted to bring you here into the kitchen with me today because I am going to follow up on a little experiment that I started all the way back in November of 2020. So it has been about eight months. And what I've done is I started looking into water glassing farm fresh eggs. My girls are gonna really start producing here soon. I have a whole new batch of hens that came in this spring and I don't know what I'm gonna do with all those eggs. So I started thinking way back in November, let's look into some ways of preserving eggs. So I have two methods here. One of them is the water glassing and the other is I slathered a set of eggs in mineral oil, put them in a carton and put them in my pantry for the past 11 months. So we're gonna see how those hold up as well. So what I've got here is I do have my eggs and they're in a lime water solution. And it's not lime like the citrus fruit lime. It is a powder and it is the pickling lime that you can pick up from Mrs. Wages. This is what I used. And this is calcium hydroxide lime. This is what you want to use if you're going to try to water glass your eggs. So I got this on clearance for 75 cents. So it's not expensive. And what I did is I mixed the appropriate amount of lime with the appropriate amount of water. I'm gonna put that formula in the description below. You need to make sure that you measure out your lime by weight. You need a good quality food scale that you can tear out to zero once you put your dish on it and then measure out the appropriate amount of pickling lime. So once you have your pickling lime and your filtered water, I used uh, some distilled water to make these. You want to stack your eggs in very carefully at the bottom. And if you look here, they're all at the bottom. None of them are floating. So we're going to check to see how well they held up over the last eight months. So just as an example to show you, I do have a four cup measuring cup here of water. And I have a fresh egg from the coop this morning. And this is how you're going to test your eggs to make sure they're good. You're just going to set it in water and do you see how it just lays flat there? It does not bobble and it does not rise to the top. This is a good egg. And this is how we will be determining if our other eggs are good. Now the lime water that you're going to be water glassing your eggs in can be very rough on the skin. You may have a reaction to it. So I'm going to make sure that I just use a glove real quick. I was going to use some of my silicone tongs, but they have little cracks in them where there's metal. We don't want to introduce metal into this. So I'm just going to glove up here. So when you take the lid off, I'm really not noticing an odor at all. So let's just, there is a little bit of crust on top of the lime. So I'm going to reach down here, just get this egg here. It does have a little bit of residue on it doesn't really smell. Let's see how it does. I'm going to set it gently. <laughs> Look at that. I'm going to hold it up and show you. Look at that. That egg is not bobbling. It's not floating. It is laying perfectly flat like it is a perfectly well-preserved egg. So I'm going to set these other ones aside. And let's compare and see how they look compared to the farm fresh egg. So I've got two little cups here. Let's get rid of this glove. Okay, so I'm going to crack the farm fresh egg into one of these little cups here. Just collected this this morning. Beautiful little farm fresh egg. All right, here's here's the test. We're gonna reach in here and get our egg that has been sitting in a lime solution for eight months. I'm looking to see. I can't tell. Almost looks as though this egg is cracked. Let's see what happens when I crack it open. Hopefully it doesn't explode. Okay. 
So the yolk doesn't look quite as fresh. The albumin, the white, is a little bit runny. And it does have an odor to it. I'm suspecting that one was cracked. Let's start over with a fresh one. Let's get another one. I don't think I trust that one. Now even though it passed the float test, I did notice it had a crack. So let's, let's get another one. Let's see what we can get here. Back comes the glove. Really? This egg doesn't appear to have any cracks in it. Let's go ahead and set that in there. And once again, we have an egg that is not bobbling. It's not rising to the top. It is laying perfectly flat. So let's go ahead and see how this one smells when we crack it open. How it looks. The other one I could tell as soon as I opened it, it didn't look right. Okay, here we go. Let's inspect this one. I'm not seeing any cracks in it at all. It did pass the float test. Let's crack it into this little dish and see how it does. Hmm. It's stuck, just like the last one did. Doesn't smell funny. It smells the same as this farm fresh egg. So I think what happens is, I think the air sac, even though it is secure, I think part of the yolk just kind of settles when it's on its side. And when you crack it open, they do break a little bit so let's go ahead I'm not going to try to eat these today but I think now that I know that they smell good they pass the water test for the float test when my girls start really laying this is a viable way to store eggs now, I wouldn't be using them for fried eggs but I would be using them for cake mixes maybe some egg scrambles things like that so let's check these these have been um, thoroughly wiped down in mineral oil. The date I have on here is 9-28-2020. And I put them in a dark counter, or I put them on a dark shelf way back in the pantry. So they still look good. They have a lovely sheen to them. And let's see if the oil kept the air out. Let's pick one at random. And let's just put it in the water to see if it survives the float test. Okay, look. This one stands on end. Do you see that? The air sac is near the top, but it's not floating. It's not a bad egg. It's just not as viable as it was before. Let's go ahead. We're going to wipe this down and crack it open and see how it looks after 11 months. Oh, I wish I had nose plugs in case some of them don't turn out well. Didn't explode. Let's crack it in. Again, it seems like the yolk seems to be getting caught in the air pocket where the air sac used to be. So that's a little bit of a concern. Let's give it a smell. There's no odor. So I, I would possibly use that in a pinch if things got really bad where we couldn't utilize uh, going to the grocery store. If things got bad and we couldn't go to the grocery store or the girls stopped laying and we needed eggs, I might consider this. Let's try another one. Here's a speckled green egg from one of my girls. Again. Again, it's floating but it's still on the bottom, but it's kind of bobbing, but it's not floated to the top. So it's still a viable egg. It's not rotten, 
but it's not as good as it used to be. But again, these are 11 months old, so let's see what we get here when we crack it open. Didn't explode, it's always a good thing. Again, it's sticking. That yolk sticks where the uh, air sac was. So that's, all of them have done that so far. Let's take a sniff. This one has a tiny bit of odor, but it's not a rotten odor. It's not rotten, but it did have a little bit of an odor. Oh. So let's try this one. I've got a dozen and a half in here. Look at this, 9282020. Oh, lots of speckled eggs. I had so many speckled layers back then. A pretty little speckled brown egg. Oh my goodness. Let's try the water float test on it, see what it does. Oh, now look, look, floats right to the top. The top of it is sticking out of the water. This is a bad egg. I don't want to crack it open. I don't want to use it. I won't do anything with it. These did not fare well. Let's try another one out of the same box. Maybe it was just that egg. Let's see. Let's try a green speckled. I'll tell you something right now. The first package that I showed you here this is a styrofoam container. The other one is a cardboard container. I'm wondering if the cardboard soaked up the oil and, and put the eggs in jeopardy. Let's see what we got here. Straight to the top, floated to the top. So the eggs in my cardboard container that are 11 months old, it doesn't look like any of them are gonna be viable. I'm really thinking maybe floating right to the top. I'm really thinking that maybe the cardboard had something to do with it because the ones that are in a styrofoam container, they don't float to the top. See? They're fine. They go down to the bottom and they're just on end. But the ones out of the cardboard container, look. They float right to the top. They're all the way at the top. They don't even go to the bottom. Those are some bad eggs. So I will be disposing of these properly. Um, I will probably be disposing the others and then I don't know if I'm gonna continue with my water glass eggs to see how long they're in there for. Um, but again, we got a really good egg out of there. It didn't have any foul odor. So the only issue I'm really seeing in the water glass eggs is I had one crack. And then it seems that the yolk seems to settle where the uh, the yolk seems to settle where the air sac is. So the yolk doesn't come out easily when you crack the egg. So here's another one out of the water glassing, laying flat on the bottom. It appears that nothing has been compromised. If we were starving, we could eat this egg. Let's crack this one open and see what it does. <laughs> that one, the white started to come out as soon as I cracked it. The white's very runny. Hey, I got a whole yolk. The whole yolk popped out on this one. Look at that. <laughs> I spilled the white. The whites get very runny when you water glass the eggs. That one has an odor. <laughs> so you know, <laughs> after this little experiment, I have determined that Putting mineral oil on your eggs really might not be a value, might not be a valid way to go for preserving your eggs. If you are going to do it, I would say only do it for a few months and make sure that you use a styrofoam container as opposed to a cardboard container. I think this soaked up the oil. Oh, that stinks. That one I cracked last stinks. Oh my goodness. 
And if you're going to water glass your eggs, I will say in all fairness with the water glass eggs, I had them in my pantry, but I had them in the pantry on a shelf that did have exposure to light. Um, a lot of the times the door would be open and it did get exposure to light. You're not supposed to have exposure to light. So this might have been where I had something go wrong here. Um, I might try it again in a deep, dark corner in a different container. This does have air that's available to get to it, but the water should keep the air away. It shouldn't be an issue. But um, I think what I'm going to do instead is I think I'm going to freeze my eggs instead of trusting all of the eggs to water glassing. But this was a really fun experiment. I will still put the formula down in the bottom if you want to try this experiment for yourself and see how it goes. But I think I'm going to take my surplus of eggs and I'm going to scramble them up with some peppers and some onions and freeze them in the freezer in little single omelet size bags. So I think that's what I'm going to do. So having said that, I'm going to put away my water glass eggs and get on with some more chores that I have here on the farm today. This was a fun experiment. I enjoyed it. Um, I do feel sad that some of the eggs went bad, but everything is okay. I've got lots of eggs coming. So thank you for joining me here on the farm. As always, take care of yourself, take care of each other, and have a blessed day. We'll see you again soon. Bye-bye. Ooh, got that egg stunk. <laughs>